Hello everyone, welcome back to a little Shed Talk. I wanted to share something with you guys that the Lord shared with me the other day and um, I thought it might be very helpful and encouraging. Um, the other day I was walking down a trail that my youngest son Jacob had made. Uh, he had worked really hard on making us a walking trail down through the woods and so it's a pretty nice trail and we go down there um, just to walk and then there's also like a seat that he put down there so we can just go down there and sit and watch nature and just be quiet or definitely spend some time with the Lord and so the other day I was really wanting to go spend some time with the Lord because there was just some questions and things on my mind and on my heart and my wife had some questions and so I was just asking the Lord you know um, and so I went down there and I'm sitting in there and I'm just watching nature and I'm asking the Lord, you know, to, to please help, help me with this question. And I'll share the question in just a second. We're always searching for truth. Like God's word is so deep. It's not shallow. Like there's so much stuff in the Bible that, that the mainstream church just sees this, you know, they just gloss over. We want to understand the true depths of God. And so anyways, there is something that's been brought to our attention through the YouTube channel and through other people, you know, that we've talked to and it's the name of God. You know, I know that God has many names, um, but the question is like, what do we actually call God? Like, what do we call you? So I was just crying out to my like, Lord. I was like, my wife just wants to know. I just want to know like, what do we even call you? And within like seconds, he spoke to me, not audibly, but through the Holy Spirit showed me. And usually when the Lord speaks to me um, through his Holy Spirit, it is through scripture. Like, like scripture will just come to my head that, oh, you know, and it's, and it, so anyways, I wanted to really share this with you. So we'll go down some of the names that people call God and that he has requested them to call him God, Elohim, Adonai, Yahweh, Jehovah, Mighty God, and the list goes on and on. And so I was down there, and I was like, Lord, God, like, like, what do we call you? And it came clear as day, and it was a scripture with Jesus. Jesus is the example. And what did he say? Well, in Luke 11, he says, And so it was that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us how to pray, as John also taught his disciples. And he said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, even in earth as it is in heaven. And I was going, Father. And it was like a light bulb. Um, I'll read a couple more passages just to confirm what I'm saying here. So, so in Matthew 6, 5 through 9, it says, and, and when thou prayest, be not as the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets because they would be seen as men. Really, I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou prayest, enter into thy, into thy chamber. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray unto thy Father, which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. Also, when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathens, for they think to be heard for their much babbling. Be ye not like therefore, for your Father knoweth whereof ye have need before ye ask of him. After this manner, therefore, pray, Ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Do you see 
it's pretty simple and I think a lot of um, Christians, a lot of people don't know what to call God and some say, you know, just calling him God just isn't good enough. You know, we need to call him by his name that he requested, which is like, you know, Yahweh or Elohim. But clearly, we're, we're as true Christians, true Christians, we have to call him Father. And why is that? Because we're adopted into his family. We don't have to call him those other names. We can, by all means, but if you're adopted, like, like, like if you're a child or whatever and you get adopted, it'd be a little odd to, to call your dad by his first name. He's gonna want you to, he's gonna want you to call him father. He's gonna want you to call him dad. And that's what God has done through Christ Jesus. So we can go before him and call him father. Yes, if you want to call him Elohim, you can call him God, you can call him you know, Yahweh, but I feel like the more personal relationship is calling him Father. So I'm going to go over a few more verses. In 1 John 3, 1, he says, Behold what love the Father has given to us, that ye should be called the sons of God. For this cause this world knoweth you not, because it knoweth not him. Again, called sons of God. That is like incredible. There's no other religion. There's no other thing where you can go before and call your creator father. And that's what the Pharisees and the Sadducees didn't understand because they, because they accused Jesus, you know, you're making yourself equal to God. Well, he is. So for true Christians, we should actually be calling him father. Father. So I'm gonna give you one more verse in Luke 12 32. Fear not little flock for it is your father's pleasure to give you the kingdom. And again there's multiple verses in the uh, New Testament that Jesus and the other disciples refer to God as Father. And to me it was eye-opening because We've been on this journey and a struggle, you know, because I've heard so many people say, you know, you have to go back to the old Hebrew text. You have to call him Yah or Yahweh or Elohim or El Shaddai or whatever. But that's called, yes, those are names for God. But as Christians, as people who are, as, as brothers and sisters who are adopted into the family of God, we can boldly go before him and say, Father. And that is such an amazing to just know that he allows that because of Jesus. Jesus made the way for us. That's why Jesus says, no one comes to the Father except through me. Because you can't. No one outside of Christ can go and call him Father. Yes, they are they should acknowledge that he is God. And even in the Old Testament, stuff like that, there were pagans and stuff who acknowledged that he was God. But they weren't, they didn't have that relationship. So again, I really hope that this helps and encourages you. I know it did me a lot, and I love when the Holy Spirit, when we go and just spend time with our Father and pray and spend time with him in the quietness and he speaks to us especially through his word so anyways um i hope that this um shed talk was helpful and encouragement and until next time keep seeking him